Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Uh, today on this video, we're going to try and see if we can't cobble together, oh, what I, I guess you call it a log arch. Uh, that's what I always hear it called, a log arch. But I'm going to try and do it on the cheap. I've got about uh, maybe $25 invested in um, some offcuts from the local steel yard. I've got two old John Deere tires from a little tiny John Deere riding lawnmower. So I, I found a, a picture online. Google search, log arch, I found some pictures, I printed one off that kind of gave some, some rough guide, you know, of how this person made one or how, how you could make one. So really all I have to do now is uh, do some measurements, make a few cuts, and uh, we'll start welding. Stick around. And my, my little saw does not have uh, any kind of markings on it, angles, it's just kind of, and there's not, the way it's rounded off, there's not really a, uh, place that I could put a square. So I just try and line it up here by eye. I got some of this parts cut and decided that, uh, you know, I, I bought this uh, welding mat or welding blanket, I guess you call it. And I just saw the brand of it. Let me see. What was it? Velvet Shield. They have a website, www.velvetshield.com. And uh, I don't believe I bought it from them, from their website. Not exactly certain where I bought it now, but that's the brand. And I like it. Uh, I've used it a handful of times. It allows me to cover my workbench and weld directly on it. I don't have a, a big, huge welding table. I have a small welding table that I can do some stuff on. Uh, but if I want to lay parts out a little bit wider and, and that, that are bigger than my table, I just put this down on my workbench and it works just fine. I've not had any issues with it. Um, works way better than those uh, like fiberglass type ones that I've seen at Harbor Freight and other places. Well, I think, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's a welder. And I'll accept any feedback you're willing to give. So I'm hoping that what I can get welded here along with the plates will ultimately make it strong enough for, uh, again, what I'm going to use it for. Okay. I cut these plates out. This actually is quarter inch because that's what I, what I happen to have. What I purchased, I should say. I bought, a, like I said, I bought a bunch of scrap, you know, flat bar and whatnot like this. And this piece here is actually um, going to get welded on here. And uh, essentially, I'm going to cut slots in here or grind them or whatever. However, I'll, I'll cut them probably with the grinding grinder, but I'll cut slots to fit chain, so that you can have a you can slide a chain in here to wrap it up. That's kind of what I'm going to do with that and that's what that plate is for. So from another plate I cut these pieces here that will just kind of lay on here. They're cut for the corner and eh, again I'm not trying to win any beauty competitions. I'm just uh, wanting something that's functional that I can uh, use here around the yard, around the house. So much to do, so little, very little time, huh? Again, I'm <laughs> I'm no professional welder, but uh, I'm getting better with uh, every weld that I do. Uh, they start to look a little better and a little better. I'm real pleased with how these these came out, and uh, we'll just let that cool down a little bit. I'll uh, hit it with the disc and uh, knock off the splatter and make sure that this is flat. I've got my air protection. It's getting pretty loud. Don't be stupid. 
We're here in protection. Got a new grinder. It's a, a Porter cable. I got it at the tractor supply. It was 30 bucks. I thought I'd uh, give it a shot. It's a lot lighter. It's smaller than the one other one I used. And I thought I could have one with grinding and cutting stuff, and one would just always put a flap disc on. Here we are at the Palatial Estate, part of the state here in uh, Indiana. Home of the Hoosiers. That's right, home of the Hoosiers. Who's there? Who's there? I don't know where that term comes from, Hoosier. I don't think anybody really does. I'm going to break out one of my grandpas. Armstrong, Chicago, USA, number 404, drop forge clamp. It's one of the smaller clamps that I got from my grandfather. I don't know what all he used his clamps for, but by golly, they were big clamps. Probably ought to make sure that that pin goes right through the center of that. Let's see, that's pretty good. So basically, you can see this is going to be the tongue. in my life. Ask for help, you never get it. I help you, I help you. And then nothing. Must be something we're doing wrong as parents, right? My parents? Mm-mm. Didn't happen. All I hear is wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Got a jungle out here. <laughs> yep, it's a jungle out here. I think it's time for a dry run. Let me go get the wheels and uh, we'll put wheels on this sucker. We'll go get the little tractor out and we'll check her out. My gosh, I did a good job. I like it. We we'll slap a little green paint on that puppy. It's perfect. Well, all right, everybody. That completes the uh, construction of our log arch. As you can see, we ran around front, tested it out. Looks like it's gonna hold up just fine. No issues here. Appreciate your uh, thumbs up if you like this video. Give me uh, comments below if, if there's something I could do differently or, you know, things that maybe I did wrong. You know, like to learn new things. So we're going to take this, this log and put it back here in the back. And then I think we'll give this thing a coat of green paint before it's all said and done. But that, that's all she wrote here on Hanging With Har. You guys have a good day. Take care.